Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dennis. So if this is your first time of watching my videos, please remember to subscribe because your support is very important. I want to categorically thank everyone who has supported me since I started this because, because it is because of your support that I'm able to reach this far. So today I have a very interesting topic that will be able to help you in one way or the other. So please watch until the end and remember to uh, interact with me in the comment section and tell me what you think of this video. So I want to discuss about uh, the ovulation cycle. Uh, if how you, should, how you can know the date of your ovulation, the length of your cycle. And at the end of this video, you'll be able to understand your safe days and your fertile days. So generally, the length of the cycle, most people confuse it with the, the how long uh, you see your menses. But the length of the cycle starts, it's the period between which you start seeing your menses until the next time you see your menses again. So for example, uh, today uh, I'll use this calendar. Yes, as you can see my cameraman, you can zoom. This is a calendar. Yes, for the new year. So for example, this is uh, the month of January and you saw your menses at, uh, on first, on first. So, so you count from first, from first, the day you uh, first saw your menses until the next time you have your menses again. Let's say the next time will be on 20, 29th of, of January. So you count from first to 29th of January, that will be 28 days. If you see your menses on, for example, 5th until maybe 3rd of February. So you count from 5th to 3rd so that you know the length of your cycle, whether it is regular or irregular. Irregular means if you see your, you are seeing your menses on a specific number of days. For example, if it is after 28 days, you are very sure that after every 28 days, you will be seeing your menses. If it is 26 days, then after every 26 days, you see your menses. So you monitor that one for a period of six months so that you know if it is regular or not. So, so that is, it's very easy to understand the length of the circle. You have said you start counting from the day you see your menses until the next time, another month, that you have your, your menses again. So, after knowing the length of your, your cycle, uh, the normal range of, of the normal range is between 21 days to up to 35 days. But averagely, most people see their menses after every 28 days. So 28 days is the average, but it is normal between 21 and 35 days. That is for adults. But sometimes even uh, for younger, younger, the teenagers, can go even up to 45 days but for adults it is between 21 days and for 35 days yes so after knowing the length of your cycle then it is very important to understand your ovulation day because for those who are planning pregnancy then you should be able to know your ovulation day so how do you know your ovulation day I believe at the end of this you'll be able to uh, to learn and and know. So, how to calculate your ovulation day? Uh, assume, for example, is the length of your cycle is 28 days. Normally, when you ovulate, it takes 14 days to to see your menses. After ovulation, it takes 14 days to see your menses. I have this bot that will be that will help me so that I explain and you get me even better. So assume the length of your cycle, if you can see, if you can zoom my camera man, is 28 days. The length of your cycle is 20, 28 days. Then what you simply do, you take 28 minus, minus 14. So 28 minus 14, you come today, 
to day 14 day 14 so as you for example you you see your menses on day first and then you are you are the length of your circle is 28 days because you will be expecting that on the 28th day you see your menses again so you so day 14 that is the 14th for example if i'm using the month of january then uh, day 14th you mark day 14th of, your, of of that month day 14th of that month not of that month but of uh, if you start from the first day to day 14th so on day 14th that will be your ovulation day yes i'll repeat once again Yes, if what if you know, I would say first you know the length of your cycle. After knowing the length of your cycle, let's assume it is twenty-eight days. You take twenty-eight days minus fourteen. You arrive on day fourteenth. So this day fourteenth, depending on the day you started menstruation, that is day fourteenth of your cycle. That is when you are ovulating. So you mark that date. You mark that date. So, I said that if, uh, for example, we use the month of January, then uh, on first you see your menses and you are someone having 28 day cycle, then the next time you are expecting your menses should be on 28. So, you subtract 14, then you come you back to day 14th. So, on day 14th, you mark that date. You mark that date on day 14th. That is your ovulation cycle, ovulation day, sorry, your ovulation day. So that is your most fertile day during your cycle. The most fertile day is ovulation day. So because this is estimation, you normally an, an estimate, you give it allowance of plus two or minus two. So plus two or minus plus two or minus two so whatever the date is you you plus two you plus two or minus minus two yes so after marking that date then your most fertile days ranges between that date and the deviation of plus two or minus two so for example, let's take another example. You are having a, 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 the length of your cycle is day is twenty six days. For example, so you take twenty six minus fourteen, fourteen. That one you come the, uh, the you result to uh, twelve. So you most probably will be ovulating on day on day twelve. So day twelve you plus two or minus two. So you start from day ten towards day twelve day 13 14 so that is your most fertile period in your window and if you are having a uh, day 21 so 21 take 21 minus 14 you come to day 7 so someone having a period of the length of 21 days uh, will be probably ovulating on day 7 so this person if you find some individuals they won't conceive when they they can conceive when they are on their menses for example, if you are menstruating more than for more than seven days and you are having the the uh, twenty one day cycle, then it means that on day seven you are still menstruating, you can still be pregnant because that is the day you are ovulating. So, how how do you know your safe days and your fertile days? So your safe days for those who want to avoid pregnancy, and also fertile days if you want to be pregnant then you can play around that day. So day for, day for, day, the ovulation day, as I've said, is the most fertile day. Now, you mark, you should be able to mark in your calendar, in your period calendar, you'll be able to mark. So for example, uh, you take your ovulation day uh, to be, for example, on 14th, on 14th. And therefore, you should also be able to understand that the lifespan, the life, the lifespan of sperms. Sperms can take a period of three to five days, three to five days. The availability uh, lasting for three to five days. 
So you take that day of relation, you 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 count backwards five days backwards. That is, for example, it is if it is on fourteenth, that is your day for that, that is your relation day fourteen. Then you subtract fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleventh, tenth, and then you give it allowance of uh, that is from tenth. So from tenth, you will be unsafe. Yes, but as you approach your ovulation day, your fertility window increases. Your chances of conceiving, if you have sex at that time, will increase. And on day 14th, now that is the peak, you plus 2. You plus 2. For example, if it is day 14th, then 15th, 16th. That, those days, you, uh, there is also a high probability of conceiving. So, before the ovulation day, you subtract 5 days after you add two days. So that period is your fertile period. And then the rest of the days until you see your next menses, that is your safe, safe days. So I'll demonstrate using this my board so that you understand me better. So day 14th, I've said, let's take this as your fertile that is your ovulation day. So day 14th, we have 13th, 12th, 11th, 10th, and then 15th and 16th. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if this is your day of ovulation, day 14th, your day of ovulation, you count five days backwards. That's what you until day 10th and two days forward until day 16th so this period this period is your unsafe days therefore if you want to have, be pregnant then you should have sex or intercourse between day 10th and day 16th between day 10th and day 16th so it means from the day of from the first day you see your menses until day 10th that is your safe period and again after day 16th after day 16th to the next time you see your period that is also your safe period so your unsafe period only lasts between these days five day five days to ovulation and you also plus two day, two after ovulation so that is your unsafe period. Yes, you can see using this on, on my board. Yes. So uh, I said at the end of this tutorial, you should be able to learn four things. First, the length of your cycle, of which I've told you how to calculate. Uh, ovulation day, how do you calculate ovulation day? You take the length of your cycle, minus 14 so that 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 resultant number is the day of ovulation then how do you know your safe days and fertile days so your safe day your fertile days you take you sub you uh, count five days to ovulation day and you after ovulation day you add another two days so the rest of the days are your safe days the period between five five days to ovulation and plus two days after ovulation, that is your fertile days. I hope you've learned something from this video and uh, we'll be able to bring more, more tutorials on this so that you get to understand it even better and better. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you in one way or the other. And um, remember, remember to interact with me on the comment section. Tell me what you think of, of this video. Uh, like, share, and, uh, and subscribe. Please, subscribe. I'm giving you one second to subscribe. Yes, thank you and may God bless you as you subscribe and support my channel. Bye-bye.